Hey everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, our topic is computer networks and the communications. In our first video, we discussed the advantages or the importance of the computer networks and the communications. We also discussed the disadvantages. So today, let's discuss the network uh, physical topologies. So in here, we'll start with the concept of these uh, network topologies. How do you mean when you say topology? Topology just refers to the way in which the endpoints or just the stations or computer systems attached to the networks are interconnected. So it's how those various the computer systems that, that are there in a network can be interconnected or just see how they are linked to each other. So network topology simply defines the way in which the computers Flight, uh, these printers and the other devices are connected or just uh, this network topology is just the arrangement of all these various elements. Uh, Take an example, links, nodes, etc. of a computer network. So when you say network topology, it's just the arrangement uh, of the various uh, elements or various uh, computer linking devices that can be connected together to form a a network. So the topology you choose to implement will influence many factors in the way you, your network works. So that you have to notice uh, when you are trying to choose a network uh, topology which you want for your network to work. Now let's see the difference uh, Yes, these different network topologies. Uh, when you refer to a network topology, we may be referring to physical or it's a, a logical topology. So these are just the two main network topologies that are there. So there's physical topology and the logical topology. Uh, when we say the physical topology, this refers to the way in which the network is laid out physically. So here we are talking about the physical arrangement of the network, the actual layout of the wire or media, two or more devices connected or how they are linked together, and the, or just the two or more links that they form a topology. So a logical topology it defines how the host access the media to send data. So it's how the this logical topology it gives the host uh, to access media uh how they can send the various data through uh the network so it shows the flow of uh, all this data on a network now we'll start discussing about this uh logical topology in this video uh then we'll later move on to the physical topology in our next video so let's start with this logical topology uh logical topology as we briefly said that uh, this kind of uh, topology of a network determines how the hosts communicate across the media. Now, from there, there are two common types of these logical topologies. There is a broadcast logical topology and the token passing logical topology. So we'll start with the broadcast logical topology. This, uh, the broadcast simply uh, the use of this broadcast topology it indicates that each host sends uh, its data to all other hosts uh, on the network media. So there's no order that the stations must fall to use the network. It, it first uh, come and it save, first serve. So it's just kind of a, that kind of a logical topology whereby each host just can uh, be able to send uh, the other data to other hosts on the network media. Uh, the Ethernet works this way, as it will be explained later on in this course. The second kind or type of logical topology is the token passing. Now, in this type of topology, an electronic token is passed sequentially to each host. So, in this kind of topology, there is a a token that is electronic that is passed sequentially to each host within the network. Now, when a host uh, receives the token, that host can send data on the network. So, take an example if the host has no data to send, 
it passes the token to the next host and the process repeats itself. Now, two examples of the networks that use this token passing are the token link and the fiber distributed data interface, that is FDDI. And the variation of token link and FDDI is the AFNET. This AFNET is a token passing that is on a bus topology. Uh, this bus topology is example of a physical topology, which we are going to discuss in our next video. So I hope it's clear, guys. Uh, thank you for listening. We'll be free to discuss the, the uh, network topologies. Uh, we've seen the concept of this network topology. We've later on seen the two different types of uh, this network topology. We said there are two of them, logical and the, and the physical. So in this video, we've discussed the logical. So in our next video, we'll move on to the physical topology. Thank you.